All right, uh, greetings, family. This is Bomani Tahimba. And the family, we're live on Revolutionary Cam and um, I'm getting ready for our Ghana November Repatriation Investment Tour. That's November 16th to the 26th, 2018. And uh, we're going to be working on a lot of things there in Ghana. I got two different uh, land site projects for our folks who are looking to repatriate at an incredible business and investment conference and then a whole lot of incredible things on the tour itself. And uh, we have a wonderful networking uh, there in Ghana. So all the people that are traveling with us uh, right now, we're 27 strong. And uh, we are going to build a group a little bit more than that. So we're looking to possibly have a group up to about 40 people once it's all said and done. And uh, we leave out in the next little bit over two months. Uh, but family, I got to share some, uh, some things with you. Um, you know, people like myself have been on international scenes traveling and doing business in Africa for the last uh, 14 years from basically, you know, building, you know, building our connection to in different countries and just traveling to gain experience. And it's been a long road and it's been incredible. One of the things that we started doing, we started doing study groups back in 2003, 2004. My goal along with our group was uh, to start doing practical things in Africa to gain experience. It's easy to talk and, you know, run your mouth about Africa, run your mouth about uh, nation building, about building infrastructure and everything. And it's also easy to, to just discredit people who have come before us and have done things. And it, the, so, it's, it's, it's so much contribution as you know, different people have made in the past, you know, from the last 20 to 60 years. So when I hear uh, stupid people like Holip, H-O-L-I-P, from the uh, BAIO, Black African Infrastructure, just uh, keep running his mouth and making things seem like a joke. He's running his mouth uh, saying things like, uh, if you want to uh, be non-productive and waste your time in life, you know, join the conscious community. Now he has to be really specific about the conscious community. I live here in uh, Georgia, close to Atlanta area, and we're very productive down here, you know, but it's not our responsibility to solve all black people problem and everything. We all have to make our contributions. And aren't your revolutionaries like this clown, hold up, you need to get off the sidelines and get into the game and contribute work. Now, Ghana is one of the few countries that we have as a people where we can uh, live and do business and repatriate and then connect with the rest of our folks in the diaspora. You, you know, you have a small percentage of our people in South Africa, Tanzania, and it may be one or two other countries, but it's not a whole lot. So when people are talking and running them out, you know, show us what you got. Um, hold up, if you talk about doing things, Go to Angola, you know, this clan have never been to Africa also. Go to Angola and set up all the things you, you, you want to set up and let us know how easy it is before you start running your mouth and discredit uh, all the things that our, our folks have been working at in countries like Ghana. Now, Ghana is one of the few countries, if any at all, that uh, you can get citizenship in. And that took a lot of work from our folks in the African diaspora going there and, and then putting the work. If they sat back and was like armchair revolutionaries like you, you know, we have, have nothing accomplished. So all these little videos you want to make of me running your mouth and calling me a tour guide and stuff, you know, you, you're a fool. Uh, you know, you, you talk about, you know, you, you talk about uh, nation building. You are a clown. You don't know how much aspects of things go into nation building. And if you talk about doing things on African continent, tourism is a key business. And just because you don't have any business and you work at JLB and you probably get lots of money, don't mean you get to discredit black people who have business who support other black people business. Our entire itinerary is a black itinerary. Black hotels, business people, transportation companies, and so on, and entire staff. You know? Let me see you build something. It's easy to run your mouth and say this and say that. And also beyond the tour organization operation I do, when people want to talk about living and doing business and also want to get access to doing things in Africa and getting connected with trustworthy people, I notice they're not calling you. Because a lot of times people who, so, who have signed up to your NING site, sign up to get information and then realize they can't get nothing from you because you just run your mouth and you're probably talking about organizing for the next uh, 10 years. You know? Every minute on YouTube, run your mouth, run your mouth in your Brooklyn apartment. That's not work. Have you ever even left Brooklyn? You know, hit the world scene, the map behind me. I've been to six continents and over 33 countries in the last 20 years from 20 to now 40 years old, yeah? And been in this conscious community for the last 15 years. Yes, we haven't been 
the most progressive and success in all aspects, I think. But like I said, again, it's not our responsibility to solve all the black people problem. All right. No, I know, a, I know a lot of people that's doing their best to work together and build certain things, but the people who have a lot of resources and finances, are you think, are you, do you think they're dealing with us? People are making, giving reasons and excuses. So we as a people are going to do what we need to do to build what we need to build. So people like myself are entrepreneurs. That way we can recycle our investments and do business with our own. So a little boy, instead of you running your mouth, continuously just making videos and, and talking and just you know, being this uh, arrogant uh, bastard, why don't you show and lead forward by example, travel to Africa and do something. If you try, how about you try organizing your people to take a tour to that country I've been talking about when I first did that interview with you? You know, you act like I don't remember, it's been over three years. Have you been to Angola yet? No, you just run your mouth. And that's what I'm saying, family, beware of these people who have no track record at all. And they just want to run their mouth saying that we're going to build this and we're going to do this. It's like, you can't even build a family. You're like 55 years old, and you, you don't have a child or anything. You're just like a guy that's been, I don't know what you've been doing. You know what I mean? You're just some old weasel looking fool. You know? There's some way that's, that's, that's plan and strategize all kind of things and how to discredit everybody else and basically tell the people that you're luring into your nest that, oh, we, B-A-I-O-U, we got all of the solutions. The conscious community and other people, they didn't do nothing all, all this time. And if you want to waste your time, join the conscious community. Yeah. This fool just running and blabbing on about nothing about it every minute. That shit is so hilarious. And family, usually I don't waste my time to address idiots like these, but I feel like I just got to crush this fool. And after I made a comment on his website, basically calling him out, telling him, yo, you are an imposter. Stop talking all this stuff about, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. You have no experience, you have done nothing. And every minute you just discrediting people. So I feel it was my place to say something to you. And when, when you did call me and talk with me, I shut your ass and I cussed you out like a little punk little boy you are, you know what I mean? I'm basically telling you to you need to go back to school, graduate, then come see me. I've been to nine African countries. I've taken over 350 people to the African continent. I have people living and doing business, and we're helping a whole lot of people do things. And this is a small operation. You, know? you claim to have 1,000 members. What are you doing with that 1,000 members? You just run your mouth talking about we got people here, people there, family. You know? You know? Reach out to this fool and see, you can even check his uh, link site out and, and, and try to sign up or, or, or join and then try to see if he, he can give you some help or assistance to do anything. And the reality of it is he can't. You know, because all he do is just find ways to just undermine people and talk stuff. So, you know, I've been just blasting him from left to right and he just can't handle it. Yeah, for real. So... Family, beware of armchair nationalist clowns like Mark Holip of BAIO who continuously disrespect the black conscious movement and those who are putting in work to organize and build enterprises with our own. This coward just made YouTube videos every few days and just talked down to the so-called black community and he think he is doing something. This idiot does not know what he has to show. You know, he has to show a homage to the ancestors, if he is to build anything for black people. Our ancestors did their best to uphold our roots and culture. How dare he dishonor them? And for all people who want to say different things about our ancestors or people in the past, conscious energy or whatever, my thing is always like, what are you doing to change the game? What are you, what are you sacrificing to make things better for the rest of us? You know, so it's easy just to talk about what other people uh, didn't do or didn't accomplish uh, when you're just sitting back there just talking. So family, um, you know, he thinks uh, he got some master plan talking about things like land infrastructure, nation, and uh, let's, let's build a nation of our own. You know, just running his mouth and people like, yeah, 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 somebody talk about nation. And I was like, first of all, family, do your research and see if this guy have any success in the past and organizing and building anything, even on a community level. Yeah, you know, we, we can't just because just people talk nice and be about nice things and everything. That we just, you know, we shouldn't just let people just lower us down. Show us what you got. Show us the vision, the plan, and everything. Making YouTube videos and running them out and discrediting other people is not work. You know what I mean? You know, try organizing a trip to Africa. You want to call me a tour guide? Try organizing a trip to Africa with 30 or 40 brothers and sisters from the African diaspora to stay in African content for two weeks. Flights, ground arrangement, all kind of things. It's handled in this office called Bomani Technology with a small, small staff and lots of technology. 
you know, so, you know, in, in when everyone that comes here to meet me, and I, I'd hear at the our office here, you know, there's not the documentation of, you know, the work and things I've committed to from learning and putting my work in and building my skill, you know, from, from you know, being in the Navy and being an aircraft technician and learning those skills and working at the airlines and learning those skills to starting Bomani technology in Africa for the Africans and being in business as an independent entrepreneur for the last 12 to 13 years of boat business, you know, family, and dedicating themselves every day to our brothers and sisters. So how dear, you know, fools like this, uh, you know, who have not done nothing in the game that's trying to insult me and try to, you know, lower and undermine the work that we'd be doing in Africa. That's because we haven't built a whole bunch of communities and had a whole bunch of things going on in, in countries like Ghana. Don't mean that, you know, you know, don't mean that you get to just run your mouth. Show us what you got before you start running your mouth. You know, so also he has just completely no accomplishments in the era of black consciousness. You know, he, he basically say that the, the conscious community is his enemy. So he needs to be clarifying if he's talking about the conscious community in NYC or he's talking about the conscious community in Georgia or whatever. Be, be specific. But if you're not going to be specific, I'm going to add myself to that because, yes, I'm a part of the conscious community. been here for the last 15 years. And out of all of our brothers and sisters here, uh, here in uh, Georgia, a lot of us work on different things. Myself work more in aspects of connecting our people to the African continent. You know, but I would never dishonor and disrespect my brothers and sisters who have learned from for the last uh, 15 years. You know, always, you know, I'm always, you know, I'm always available to, to, you know, to, to contribute whatever needs to be contributed. And you know, it's, it's what it is. So family, you know, for those of us who know myself in Georgia, they can reach out to different organizations, ask about Bomar any time. Is he, you know, is he a dedicated, hardworking brother that's dedicated to Pan-Africanism that work and dedicate his time and life to our people? You know, or is he a fraud? And then you can ask people about the whole of, and ask them in New York City, what is he accomplished? They're like, oh, who, what, 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 what? Yeah, then nobody, know, nobody knows who the hell you are. All right. Now, but this kind this is disrespectful to international business organizer like Bomani Tambo. You know, I'm someone that can help you make you successful. You, you know, I, that's what I do. I help people on how to connect to Africa and do things in Africa. Wake up at that fallacy that you're going to get a whole city in Africa or they're going to build this black American city and all this little fallacy and drama and, and foolishness to keep on telling our people. You know what I mean? Most of these African presidents, their mind is somewhere else. You know, all the things you're talking about, they're not interested unless you're writing them checks for a billion dollars and more. You know? Other than that, you know, you got to get into some serious work and we've done that in Ghana. You know? So little boy, watch and learn and shut the hell up. So you know, definitely, family. This uh, in the last 14 years, I've been traveling to the African continent, and it is serious commitment and work. That's why people like himself back out and just work a nice job and make all the money, but then just talk about us, little boy. You don't know the amount of work I have to dedicate myself and do and co commit myself on a daily basis to make things work. Do you know how much people we help on a regular basis? You need to learn the game and put your work and your time in and shut up, punk. You know so. Now, family, that's just some short things I'm sharing with you, but you know it's unfortunate that you know we have to go there and and you know and and share this bad news. You know, some of the members of the BAIO, BAIO are cool people, and they just caught up into a cult with this idiot, whole lip, Mark Buster whole lip, the coon, uh, the clown, the idiot, the fool. You know, I wish I could teleport over there and bust a bomb clot, slap class, your blood clot, this boy, your pussy wall. And puss who like you're going to get it dust soon. Somebody's going to see you in New York City and recognize, yo, this is that punk ass clown and dust out your bumble clap, my youth. You're a fool. You know what I mean? You set yourself up. Start running your bumble clap mouth and do some work. You're a pussy wall. All right, family, this is Bomani Time about signing off. And to that clown whole lip from B A I O, shut your bumble clap mouth and stop running your mouth talking about and undermining my success when you ain't got no damn success, you bumble clock fool. All right, family, take care, keep it strong.